So I'm joined by Wendy Obachowski, who is a volunteer with Marianne's Kids, and Jamilka Noge, who is an event coordinator for Marianne's Kids. And we're talking about a great event you guys are having this weekend. Thank you for joining us. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having us. So Wendy, tell us about what's happening Saturday night. So we are putting on a fundraiser that is to raise money for Marianne's Kids. It's at Twin Hills Country Club. And it starts at 6 o'clock. And the theme is the Oscars because it's our 15th year. So there are several of us that are dressing up in a yeah. little Oscar-themed. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, there'll be the red carpet. And there's all kinds of surprises that is going to be going on. Um, and it goes until about midnight. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the history of Marianne's Kids and the connection to CHD. So CHD's Marianne's Kids was created 1999 um, by Eva Santanello. She, on a Christmas, during Christmas time, she decided to buy all these presents and bring along all her Longmeadow friends um, so our kids can have a better Christmas. And since, since then, we've had Marianne's Kids. Um, after that, we started with a golf tournament. And um, we did that for a little bit. And Marianne's Kids Stepping Out Dinner Dance, which is what we're here for on Saturday, it's our 15th year, so it's, it's big. It's 15 years. Can you believe it? No, I can't. Um, and it's great. It's our biggest fundraiser. Um, CHD is so happy to have you know all of our sponsors, including Naven Hafty and Associates and Pride. Um, they've been sponsors for us for years, and we are very grateful. Thanks to them, we're able to have this big, wonderful event, and, um, which benefits our foster kids. And where does the name Marianne's Kids come from? Eva Santanello's sister, she created the fun in memory of her sister Marianne. Uh, Marianne had passed of, of cancer, and um, sadly Eva also passed of cancer after that in 2007. Um, and that's how we, we got Marianne's kids. Marianne was a foster parent. She yes, was she a was. foster parent. And so that's, Eva said, what can I do in memory of my sister, you know, in the foster care right. world? And that's, that's why she came up with this and teamed up with CHD. Yes. So and tell us a little bit about the CHD's involvement in foster care. How does it work? How many families are you involved with? We currently have approximately 80 plus foster homes. Um, CHD foster homes. So we at CHD Children and Families programs, we recruit foster homes. We have um, many, many great, some we've had for years, for over 10 years, some 15, 20. We have a, a new ones. You know, we're recruiting foster homes every day because sadly we get many, many kids every day. Um, our number goes up and down for foster kids. We currently have probably 150 plus, but like I said, it goes up and down all the time. Um, unfortunately, lately, it's been going up more than what we would like to see. Yeah. Um, but that is why we need our CHD foster homes. We need those wonderful homes to give and provide to these children. And Marianne's Kids, of course, supports those families who are helping those kids. Why has it been so important for you to be involved in this cause? Well, I just, I have a real thing for kids. And, um, you know, when, when I started this fundraiser 15 years ago, um, I just saw how it impacted the kids, um, the, the social workers, you know, just, just what a positive and a good feeling it was. And when Eva passed away, I promised her that I would keep this fun going forever. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. um, and I just, I just, I feel, and, and so does all the people that work with me, you know, just a real um, deep commitment to the kids, you know, and to see um, a child not have clothes to wear to a funeral and to be able to provide them that, you know, to see somebody get a prom dress, you know, when... It's just so awesome. And it's it so is. normal right. for it our is. kids, right. right? Yeah. But, but for, for these kids, they just, they... They don't know that, and they don't know they don't know what it's like outside of that terrible home that they've lived in, mm -hmm. you know. So just to see them prosper and to to um, you know experience things that like going to a Red Sox game. I mean, we've right. taken the foster kids right. to Red Sox games, to Celtics games. We've taken them on field trips. You know, I mean, they would never have otherwise been able to experience that if it wasn't for Marianne's kids. I just feel it's those little things that count. Um, we, or, or most of us, we, we have what we need, we have what we want, we have our families, but they don't
don't have that. Mm -hmm. um, so can you imagine just going into a stranger's home for the first time being nine, 10 years old, missing your pet, your, you know, your blanket, your teddy bear, your parents? It's, it's very sad. And Marianne's Kids is able to provide those little things that sometimes we don't, you know, think a child might benefit from. I mean, it goes from, you know, kids wanting to go do sports. We provide the uniforms, we pay for the fees, you know, basketball, softball, soccer, you know, wow. a, a girl who wants dance lessons, you know, it's, it's, they've never had it before. They dream of being a dancer or, mm -hmm. or just, you know, being a part of it. We provide that for them as well. Like Wendy said, um, Recently, last week, we went to a Celtics game, and the faces on these kids, it was just wonderful. And, and I get to see that, which is great for me. Um, but they were just having a good time. You know, we were able to bring them down to the court, thanks to one of the Celtics representatives. And they were just looking around, like, you know, all these people, and the, the players are right there, and, you know, they're waving at the players. Um, some of them don't know about basketball, but just the fact that they're there, they're in Boston, you know, we took a bus there. It was just wonderful for them. On the other hand, there was some that they were like, oh, that's this person, that's this person, and, and he plays yeah. for who? It's <laughs> just wonderful. Stats. And this is just one, I mean, we've done the Red Sox. I remember last year we did the Red Sox and there was this particular little kid he was just like in sports heaven it was just <laughs> wonderful and then he, he I remember him coming up the stairs and he had this giant ice cream I don't know it had cake it had whipped cream it was just huge that's what I remember and um his smile it was just yeah it, it's so great and this is what Marianne's so kids does yes it is yeah. and um you know those little things that we just sometimes take for granted they they're so you know grateful to have those are great life thanks moments. to Marianne's and like, and kids changing yeah yes. tell us how can people get involved for this weekend um are you know are there still tickets available there are still tickets available yep visit our website at ch www.chd.org all right wendy and jamilka thank you so much and thank, thank you for all you're doing us. for these kids thank it's you. very inspiring thank you. we Thanks, appreciate family. it thank you.